All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about undoubtedly what is the best survival knife for 2024. Now, you guys might see this a little bit early. You might see it in 2023. But today we are going to be talking about what I think is probably going to be the best survival knife money can buy right now. And that is the Cold Steel SRK. But not just any SRK, as you guys probably saw right there. This is the CPM 3V version of the SRK. Now, why would I say that this is the best possible survival knife that money can buy in 2023, 2024? Well, first off, I have to say there are a number of really good competitors out there. We've talked about the Free Rain, the Demco Knives Free Rain on this channel as well. We've talked about the um, Falcon Even A1. I've had an A1 before. Probably going to get an S1 here pretty soon. Um, there's plenty of other survival knives, wilderness knives out there. And while I do have preferences and I do prefer some knives over the Cold Steel SRK, I have to say that this right here is probably the downright best survival knife money can buy for the fact of two reasons. One, this knife, and especially the one that I bought here, uh, I got this knife for under $100. Under $100 is absolutely insane to me because this is a knife made out of CPM 3V, as you guys can see here, not lying to you guys, this is not the Sanmai version of this, this is not the SK5 high carbon version, this is a CPM 3V knife, and it is made out of a chunky piece of CPM 3V. Like if you guys look Look at this. This is not a thin stock. I think it's just under, I think it's like 3 16 of an inch, so just under quarter inch and um, absolutely like the beefy stock on this guy. And it is a really tough steel. Now, if you guys have known, I do really like my CPM 3V, probably one of my favorite steels for outdoors because of the reason that this is just such a tanky steel. This stuff can literally cut through other pieces of steel and the edge will not chip, it will not crack, it won't break, it won't roll. This is an incredibly tough tool steel and it is just absolutely what you want in an outdoor knife. Now, the like I said, the biggest reason why I think that this is the best survival knife is the price. Even at a non-sale price, which in fairness, I did get mine on sale for just under $100, but these guys typically go for about $150, so usually about like $140, $150, and for what you're getting, even if you pay $150, you are still getting an incredibly good deal on the amount of knife you're getting because this is a six inch piece of CPM 3V. It is near full tang. It is not completely full tang as you guys can see there, which we're going to talk about actually why I like that here in just a little bit, but um, it's not completely full tang, but essentially full tang. I've done plenty of durability tests on the CP or the CPM, uh, the Cold Steel SRK, and these guys have a really great track record. So the you know main emphasis is great price and an incredible steel for the price, the CPM 3V. And then lastly is the track record on these Cold Steel SRKs. SRKs have a great track record. I've actually done a video digging into the um, history of the Cold Steel SRK and how it came to be. These things have been around since the 80s, if I remember correctly, and they have seen everything from working with the uh, Navy SEAL BUDS teams to be training knives, not quite the CPM3 version, but you know these knives have seen use by um, the Navy SEALs. They have seen use in plenty of combat theaters, and you know a lot of people pick them up as troop knives, or you know troops pick them up as a you know work utility knife. So they have a great track record. Of course, SRK stands for Search and Rescue Knife. So these were originally designed for search and rescue teams, and uh, that means that they are really built with survival in mind. They're built so that if you are out in the wilderness, you can have a useful tool to do a wide um, plethora of tasks. So that is um, <clears throat> just the basic kind of rundown of the Cold Steel SRK. Now, like I said, I'm digging into some of the Cold Steel SRK specifics as to why this knife does just so happen to be a great choice. Um, once again, we've talked about the price, great price, 
great materials um, and great track record, but also to the SRK is a fantastic choice for winter survival as it is now because you do not have any exposed tang. So this is still, like I said, a near full tang, but there is no exposed tang anywhere on this outside of, of course, you're cutting your cutting blade side. But outside of that, unlike knives, like say this Demco Free Rain, which I actually do like the Free Rain quite a bit, but you can see here that, you know, the, um, tang of the blade sticks out and this is very common for things like falk nevens as well and i think this really goes more not to like help with durability but to show like hey this knife is full tang and so this is more kind of just a, a show piece because i wouldn't really recommend there's not a lot here to hammer with but invariably that's what they market it as however like i said the cold steel srk does not go that route still retains the durability but just doesn't have any tang exposed so i personally really like that um, from my standpoint, I think that's a win uh, to have a fully encapsulated handle, something along the lines of what many Mora knives do. Unfortunately, the Garberg does go this direction with you know a little bit of a tang exposed. Like I said, I don't really love that personally, but it is what it is. Um, other than that, you also get a six inch blade. Um, and this one is just as a reference, you know, a little bit longer uh, of a knife. And I think that that's particularly useful as you guys can see here against the Demco free rain, you have about an inch, inch and a half more blade length. And once again, as I've talked about in many survival related videos, and one thing when we're talking about survival specifically, I think having a longer blade, so long as it's within reason, like I usually think about up to seven inches, seven and a half inches is about what you want in a survival blade because in survival the higher or you run a much higher chance of having to baton and i know i've done multiple videos talking about this but i still get so many comments of like why do you want to baton or i would never baton in a survival situation but just understand that you want especially for a survival knife to have the maximum flexibility of your skill and scope and what you can do and there's a lot of times with especially survival in my own experiences and practice um, you know where you roll up on a situation and it's been raining for the past week straight everything is wet so you do have to baton into you know pieces of wood dead pieces of wood to get to that dry core wood to you know make it into feather sticks to start fires so for people who sit there and say you know like batoning is useless or that they would never do it there is tons of applicability and once again sometimes you have to baton larger pieces of wood to get into dry core wood that you can start on fire sometimes it's far simpler or if you don't have a hatchet or an axe you can baton trees down and i've once again done videos going over this stuff um, and you can very very field expediently fell trees with a sizable enough knife and get those trees combined together to make a very quick, once again, field expedient shelter. So absolutely batoning is a huge thing for me and having a larger blade length that is going to allow you to span a piece of wood decently is going to be a huge plus. So for me, this is ultimately, like I said, the, the ultimate survival knife that you can buy. If you have 100, 150 bucks, I think that this is like realistically a probably about the most perfect knife you can buy. Are there better knives than this? Um, for me, I honestly have to say, with this knife, given the CPM 3V, I would say yes, but also no. This knife is extremely capable of handling its own. Um, CPM 3V is a very premium uh, blade steel. So if you get this, once again, this is rivaling um, things like my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter that's also in 3V. This is going to be rivaling things like my uh, Chris Reeve knives specific. This is going to be rivaling, you know, any high end or premium knife, you know, even the Busey or Bussy knives in Infi steel. This is going to be rivaling those because Infi might be a harder wearing steel and it might have some additional properties that are better than CV or CPM 3V, but uh, this is this is still pretty darn close. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is, this is really good stuff. And like I said, it just blows me away that, you know, I was able to, and I think, um, I think these things in a few places are still retailing for under $100, but the fact that you can get this much, like this kind of tool 
for under a hundred dollars just blows me away. Like absolutely incredible. And don't get me wrong, like I said, there's still plenty of other fantastic survival and outdoor knives, but it continues to hearken what I've said in the past. You know, knives like this, their existence um, really kind of hearken what I've said in the past about, you know, things like Winkler knives. Like, I still like my Winkler um, and this guy isn't bad. This is a Blue Ridge Hunter and obviously this is a little bit more bushcraft oriented, but you know, you look at this, this is 80 CRV2, which is essentially in layman terms, a form of D2 and it's by no means bad, but you look at this, you know, this uh, Blue Ridge Hunter is about a $300 knife. You look at this, or sorry, this is about a $400 knife because I think it's like $360 if you buy it new. This thing brand new is a hundred dollars absolutely would stomp any of Winkler's knives because Winkler once again is coming out with knives in 80 CRV2 which is an upgrade from 50 to 100 which used to be their old steel but you know you look at it and they're using like um, World War II era ball bearing steels Winkler and this is literally um, you know CPM3V is not the newest steel but it definitely is newer it's a powdered metal and it just will absolutely destroy any simple carbon steel out there or any you know reasonably basic tool steel um, or die steel out there this thing's going to absolutely destroy those so anyways this is uh, my look at and I really just wanted to go over you know like what is the best survival knife you can get in this day and age and this is really it like honestly I think I've said before, you know, this is a knife that you could get now as a reasonable beginner. Like this is reasonably budget. It is a little bit more than, you know, like a 50, $40 knife, but reasonably budget. And this is like, this is the end. This could be your end knife. So anyways, um, wrapping it up, it is worth noting this blade, uh, the spine is sharpened. You can throw sparks. I'm not going to here for the sake of the video. It really doesn't matter. Um, but this is absolutely sharpened. You can scrape with it. You can strike ferro rods. Um, the handle is of course rubberized. So it has plenty of grip, even when wet. I have always loved the SRK handle. And, uh, lastly, the only thing I think that I genuinely dislike about this knife, and it's by no means a huge deal is that the sweat wedge is a little bit sharp so it's not like to the point where it'll cut you like you guys can see here you know I'm not like bleeding didn't cut into me but it is pretty darn sharp so I know some people have you know like uh, just taken this and kind of sanded it up a little bit so it's not quite as sharp but that's probably about the only thing I dislike about it. Other than that, it's cold steel SRK. They've been refined over the past 20 plus years. It comes in the same old school styled SRK sheath. Um, this one of course is worth noting is in FDE. So flat dark earth. So it's a little bit of a different color um, than just the standard black, but you can get them in multiple different handle colors now. Everything from, you know, black, like the traditional black, all the way to orange. You can get olive drab. You can get FDE, as you guys see here. And uh, yeah, I think it's just a pretty cool, pretty cool um, option out there. And I highly recommend, like highly, highly recommend. If you can get one, you can snag one. These cold steel SRKs and CPM3V are the absolute, like, best knife that you can purchase with your money. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video as always. God bless. And I'm out.